Hey, welcome back. Wanted to quick cover some, a few things that I've uh, I've noticed that I have done incorrectly. Um, uh, so this has been set up for 20 inches per minute, uh, and these settings have worked very well for me uh, in the past. They're very reliable, but I want to go faster than 20 inches per minute. And uh, I set this thing up before learning, you know, everything there is to know. I originally had this set up for. 2,000 steps, and we see that that is steps per revolution. So what am I getting at here? So if we have a screw, it's going to have a certain number of teeth per inch, and what that essentially comes down to is however many teeth there are, um, you will need to rotate that many times to do one inch of travel. Uh, most stepper drivers have a certain number of steps. When you take a stepper motor and you turn the shaft, you'll feel like a little hesitation and then it'll click over and stop. And most of those are 1.8 degree uh, increments or 200 steps per revolution. Now, my particular machine, this mill here, has a lead screw in it on this x-axis that is 20 threads per inch so that means that 20 revolutions will produce one inch of movement or travel on this axis 200 steps per revolution for the stepper motor and 20 revolutions needed to go an inch that means we need 4,000 steps for, for of that stepper motor uh, to move it one inch it's saying that it'll do 2,000 steps per revolution. Well, that's a factor of, uh, what, 10? 10 times more? So that means that for every, every one click over, 1 1.8 degrees, or one of those 200 steps, it's going to have 10 micro steps in there. That it's going to, and, and so that means it's got to send all those pulses, all those little waves out. Uh, so it's kind of eating into the power, I think. Um, so I have gone ahead and switched this over to 400 steps per revolution. Uh, that means that there'll be two micro steps per step. Now, you may be wondering, well, what are you going to lose out on this? Well, what I'll lose out is resolution potentially, but I'm also going to be gaining a little bit of power, I think. Because all those little micro steps take away from the, at least I think that's as I understand it. I could be wrong on that. And it'll also, I think, uh, help the computer run a little more reliably if it doesn't have to send out all those pulses. Is that going to hurt our resolution or, you know, how accurate our machine is? So let's do a quick little bit of math. That means for every revolution of this lead, of this thread, we should see. 50 thou of travel. Right? Now, we divide that 50 thou by 200 steps. Not micro steps, but just steps. So we divide that by 200, and we get uh, 0. 0.00025, which we then divide that by 2 again, because I got 400, because we're going to do 2 micro steps per step. By theoretical max revolution, resolution, that is, if my lead, everything else is perfectly tight and there's no slop, will be one tenth, one point two tenths of an inch. That's nothing. I, I'm pretty sure I have so much slop built into this. That's yeah, that's gonna be nothing. Speed, reliability, more important. So let's do that. We've proven mathematically that we shouldn't see a, a loss in precision. So let's go to our motor tuner. This is asking, uh, this is for the x-axis, and it's asking us, um, set the numbers steps equal to one inch, depending on your initial configuration. To do one inch, we need 20 revolutions. We times that by 400 steps, because that's what our, my, my motor driver is doing, 8,000. So we have 8,000 steps per revolution. Uh, we're going to shoot for 20 inches a minute, just like we did before. And before, we were only able to do 5 inches per second squared uh, of acceleration. And this is the x-axis. So, let's see what it does. Oh, 
Okay. Seems fast enough. Let's uh, boost it to 40 inches per minute. Oh, yeah. Let's go 80 inches per minute. <laughs> She's cooking! Do we dare do 100 inches per minute? I mean, that's seems like really, really fast. All right, we've done it. 100 inches per minute. Holy shit. <laughs> the resonance. Like, did you hear that? Like, it was. That's awesome. Oh, now, okay, we definitely need to put something on the end of that thing to dampen it. You just, look at that thing! It's like a little, it's like a puppy dog tail. 150 inches per minute with 10 inches per second squared acceleration. <laughs> okay, so capable of 150? Sure. Advisable? Probably not. So we'll just take it down to 100 and save it. And same with the Y, we'll take that down to 100. Save it. I hope you've learned from my mistakes, and hopefully the math was presented in such a way that it's clear enough. Um, but yeah, good luck tuning. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do what I can to help. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some got a kick or two out of this.